Thank you. <laughs> oh, hi. This is where I'm heading. I'm about to ride some water buffalo over to that island over there. So let's go. Let's go hang out with some water buffalo. So that was the most Nihon experience of my life, <laughs> Nihon boy, <laughs> uh, being pulled by a water buffalo known as Sui Gyu, which is basically just water cow <laughs> in Japanese, and having uh, the traditional, is it Shinbei or no, the traditional uh, like Shimasen, that's it, uh, guitar played on the way. That was just amazing. And apparently you can mate the water buffalo and all that biz here. I'm gonna go check it out because I like me some cows. <laughs> so I just had my picture <laughs> with Rukun. <laughs> Rukun. There's probably about like 80 million of them, but they're so soft. Like they have really nice long cow hair. Like, you know, with pig hair, it's quite coarse. And I was just like, oh, so now we're gonna head out to the butterfly garden. Also, can we appreciate that, that hat? That hat was just like fucking amazing. <laughs> I can see butterflies. Here we go. Oh, I see butterflies everywhere. Hello. Hello, butterflies. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them here. Hi, guys. Going for a hangout. Hello, brother. <laughs> just literally trying to search this one statue <laughs> like look at him look at him so apparently uh manta rays are they frequent this beach if you can hear me don't think i'll see one because you have to dive to see them but that's pretty fucking cool don't you think and there's nobody here! <laughs> yeah! It's all mine! It's me and the water buffalo. That's all there is. Me! 
many shells. I'm actually stupidly excited about this. Mangroves. Love me some mangroves. Here we go. Gonna have a look at some mangroves. <laughs> Ooh. Mangroves. If you look closer, you can see a crabble. Give us a wave, yeah. Hey, bud. This is friend over here. Over here. Hey, up. There's some crabbles having a fight off right next to my feet. Get him! Get him! Go on! Go on, let him have some. Yes, mate. So you can see all these little holes, each one of them houses a crabu. Isn't it beaut? Crab town. And every time I look around, they're just, they're just all here. They're all waving their little crabbies. Look, there's, there's one here. And there's one over there. There's crabs everywhere. I'm literally in the land of crab. Crabs everywhere. If I stand still long enough, they just all keep coming out of their little crab homes. And they're all just like, Sorry guys, I'm just gonna walk through the home. Go in. You can continue your dance off later. Just gotta actually walk through here. And there's loads of like these shell carcasses of like, I guess when it's wetter, they come alive. I don't know. <laughs> Teach me people, Na my nature people. Where are you? Tell me. Mangroves in the rain. So this is pretty cool. They have a history of all the cows. So here is the bloodlines. They started off with Hanukkah san and Daigodo san. And I don't know if this is morbid, but I like skulls, so I don't know. But this is actually Daigodo san's skull. And look at the size of those horns. That's pretty fucking epic. I found this park with this giant Neko slide. I don't know if I'm gonna graze my ass going down this, but I'm going to give it a go. For the sake of the Neko, it's fucking huge. This Iromoto Neko. I feel like I'm gonna burn my ass going down here. Going into the Neko. This looks terrifying, what the fuck? Jesus, I do not want to go down this. I'm going to die. So I was going to slide down this. Iromotorima neko. Iromote neko. But uh, yeah, I kind of chickened out because um, when you're up there, it's actually really fucking high. And also I'm wearing shorts. I uh, probably graze my ass. But it is quite a find. And there's a pokey stop here. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it.
cool thing about the apartment that I'm staying in. Not only do I get this amazing, just it's so massive, I keep forgetting how big it is. Get my own jimbe. Yay! <laughs> so the best thing about Japanese summer is wearing these because they're very cool. They're very fresh, they're very light. The pants might not fit me because <laughs> they're medium to large, which usually doesn't fit my thick ass, <laughs> but the top fits. And it's really pretty and it's just bad colors. There's this one and another one. And there's also this one. This one has sparkles on it. There's a whole bunch of Jinbei to choose from. Right here. How cool is that? They have all the colors of the rainbow, even to suit my gothic needs. So I thought that was really cool and got this cool surrounding. So uh, I might take some vanity pictures of this cool Jinbei. Yay! <laughs> also, it's a rainy day today, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the day because obviously my whole plan was to go outside and do cool stuff. So I'm just readjusting my plans to suit the weather. Island life, but Jimbei indoor photo. And you know what those photos include, Patreon? Yeah, tail squad. <laughs> so the question is, which suits me better? This one or this one? I like the glitter on this one, but I, I don't know, the, the, the pink. I'm, I'm liking the combo of fluorescent pink with black on this one. It's very emo and I like it. Um, but both of them are very pretty. I do like them both. They're both very cool. I'm not standing up because the pants don't fit. Eee! <laughs> Jinbei! It is the last day of VK. Well, it's tomorrow, but this is my last day. It has been raining all day, so I've been chillaxing inside, drawing, watching sumo wrestling. It's been good. And the best way to end it is Kampai. Have blue seal at the airport, so I'm getting my last look of salty cream and Benimo flavor. That's yeah, so good. Oh my fucking god, yes. <laughs> I wish, I wish you were back in Tokyo. Mmm. Um, Kampai. Blue seal, man. Kampai. Go. Oh, my God.